Mike. I'm Rob. I'm Dave. And I'm Mr. Sink. And welcome to the Mr. Sink Show, where we show you how to improve your home. On today's show, we pay a visit to Mum and Dad's place. While we're there, we help make their bathroom more elderly friendly and have a sink load of fun along the way. Well, let's, let's get, get started. Well, hello there and uh, welcome. And I'm at my mother's place. And dad's. And dad's. Dad. <laughs> first time. <laughs> so, uh... My first time too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show, mum and dad. And, um, mum has been uh, sort of complaining to me about, about a couple of things and uh, I want to see what all the problem is all about. After I finish eating, of course, but um, let's ask, what's, um, what seems to be the problem? I think it's I... you. You're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the problem. Yeah. You actually going to listen to me today, you two? Oh, we'll, we'll what I want done. Oh, I can't believe it. Anyway, it's my bathroom. Mm. My shower. I would like that fixed because the other day I fell down. Mm. And then I couldn't get up. So I was struggling and it was still because of the soap was still on the floor. Um, I couldn't get up. So I want something to hold on. So, you know, if, you, if I fall again, I hope not. I can, I've got something to pull myself up with. Good idea. So that's one thing. The other one, yeah, I want the shower head replaced because I don't like what it's been put there. So what have you got there now? You've got like a normal, a normal shower rose now, is that yeah, right? It's one of those old... And, and you want something so you can wash your body without washing your yeah, hair? Yeah, with a spray you know, I can take off from the wall. Oh, so, so you I can wash, wash my shower, hair, yeah. wash my hair. And to wash the shower. And to, yeah, to clean the, the, the glass. Is there such a thing, you know, something for the floor to so one slip? Yeah, we've got the answer. No, we've got that. Right, okay, guys, um, we'll finish eating first. And as soon as we finish eating, We'll get started. Cool. I'll have some wine. And otherwise, good food. Good food. <laughs> well, we're here in the bathroom, or the ensuite actually it is. And uh, as you can see, this ensuite is only 10 years old. So structurally, it's still pretty good. So it's a bit of a shame to actually pull it all apart. So what we want to do is we want to do like a cost effective improvement to help mum and dad. So let's have a look inside the shower. Cost effective sounds good. Yes. Oh, yes. Dave, you're yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, you missed that <laughs> lunch. Oh, well, I, I work hard. You used to want to eat lunch and everything. I had to run around and get the stuff. Oh, so right. You just missed that lunch. Okay. Anyway, in the shower. Have a look in here. Look, the shower base is, uh, is relatively new as well. It's actually a smooth surface shower base. Now, there's nothing much we can do about this except put a uh, get one of those rubber uh, shower mats. Next thing is we're going to get rid of this shower head because uh, mum despises this. Yes. And, um, we'll put a hand shower, one with a glide rail. We'll put it straight in the center here and glide up and down. With this shower, this hand shower, it's a retrofit, meaning that um, anyone can do it. Um, it's not like normal type of plumbing where you actually have to be licensed to re-plumb something. Because it's all exposed, it's just a matter of unscrewing that and screwing the hand shower straight on. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a shower shelf here somewhere. So we're gonna have to ask mum where she wants that. I can understand you know, having shampoo bottles and all that sort of things in the way. And then last, we're gonna put a grab rail. Cause um, she slipped over here, so she wants something to hold on to. And I'm, I'm thinking somewhere in this vicinity here, but there's a little bit of a trick to that because when you're putting grab rails in, you need to go into a good anchor point yeah. and you need to have a, uh, a stud. So somewhere along here, we're gonna show you how to find a stud to make sure that you get a good anchor um, for, your, um, for your grab rail. So this is everything we need. So I think now it's time to go shopping. Okay, we're here at the store now. We're here to shop for mum's mum stuff. Yep. We're waiting for Mr. Singh to come, but we can't wait anymore. I think he's still at mum's place, I don't know, having some spaghetti or something. Oh, probably. Or something. <laughs> so we've decided to come here to have a look what mum wants. Now, I remember, because mum's been, you know, busting off. <laughs> um, I think, look, she definitely wants a hand shower. All right. 
um, but something with a rail and that sort of stuff. So, is these, is, are these the ones that we're looking at, or? Yeah, well, th these are the most common ones. I, I think square, it's, it's not really mum's sort of style mm. for the house. So maybe we go for something more traditional type looking. Now, all showers nowadays on the market, they have to be a water saver. So, just as an example, like th this, I've already got the hand shower ready, it's this hand shower here. You'll see that this hand shower here, uh, um, it's got a Wells rating. It's got a Wells rating. Now, this is a must. Um, not just showers, anything which, um, or 99% of the stuff that we sell here has to have a some sort of regulation of either Wells and a watermark. Okay. Um, showers, they need to have a, a Wells rating. Now, this one here is a four star. And you can see it's, it's uses six liters per minute. That's quite cool. Which, which is yeah. pretty pretty standard. It's a standard thing about, well, with most, most showers nowadays. So that, that is a must. That's that's one thing. Now, what else is she also wants a, um, there was a shelf? A yep, there's a shelf. So actually, that's right here, the one that she was thinking of. Yep, so we'll grab one of these as well. This will go perfect, great. Perfect for the shampoo. She, was, yeah. she, was, uh, she, she kept saying, I want the shampoo put somewhere. So. Yeah. Um, and then we're talking about the couple of grab rails. So I know she wants one by the toilet. Well, the main reason was because she did fall. So we wanted and to make dad's sure. feet as well. Yeah. She's got a sore foot. This one here. This is mainly used for, it's more for commercial or for, you know, for, di uh, for full disabled people. You'll see for, com for domestic use, which are these ones here, they've got different sizes and also ones which are on an angle as well. So mm -hmm. we're not really sure because um, we're not sure where the studs are in mum's shower. So we're going to take one of each yep. um, to Sounds see which good. one actually fits in there. Rob, we better get back Let's because, go. because we've got to get working. Okay, we've got a long day ahead of us. Okay, so we're here. We've got the hand shower assembly here, ready to go on. We've got the grab rail. Now, explain some of the tools that we need, right? That day. Okay, let's see. If you did go shopping, I want to make sure that we've got the right things. Definitely drill, drills, I should say. Once impact drill, which is actually when you're actually going through the wall and length the pilot hole with some bits and drill bits. And also, this is to finish it off when we screw the actual screws later on. Cool. It's good to see that you've got the right things, Mr. Sink. Spanners for later on, which is when you've got to tighten up the actual hose. Laser level, which is most important, so we don't actually crack the tiles or find the right... That's, a, that's actually a stud finder. Yeah, it's trying to find me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going, Mr. Sink. Anyway, we're gonna, we need this to find the stud, so... Yeah. Hey, the stud is over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Measuring tape, which you've got to make sure that everything's lined up as well, or even for backup. But certainly we've got it in Teflon too, which is just as important to when we put the actual elbow onto the position where the, the hand shower's got to go on. And this is the really most important bit, and that is stainless steel screws. That's right. Make sure you use stainless steel screws in the shower. It's a wet environment, and some suppliers, when they give you hand showers and also grab brows, they give you normal zinc coated screws, and zinc coat will eventually rust. That's right. Stainless steel won't rust. So we always use stainless steel screws. So That's I think right. we've got everything here. What do you reckon, we'll get started? Absolutely. Okay, let's get started. So undo this first. Yeah, unscrew that ugly head. <laughs> you should know that, you should know about that bit there, right? Uh, I've got a head, maybe I should check this out first, maybe. Now, could you explain, Mr. Sink, do we have to turn the water off? No, we don't actually, in this particular case, because we're not doing any modifications to plumbing, we don't have to do any uh, switching off any water supply or anything like that. So... That's right, because because none of us are plumbers. Well, because this is retrofit, we can do it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have had to call, you know, like Matt the plumber or John the plumber. That's right. Um, to do it, but in this particular case, they've actually told us it's retrofit. So, because we're just unscrewing it and screwing one back straight Sounds back good. Uh, Mr. Toolman? No, no, that's Glenn. Oh, well, Mr. <laughs> David? Can I have, this is very stiff in the wall. Have you got something that I can jam in there to, to leverage it out? If, you, if, you, if you've got problems with stiffness, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so, all right, let's get something to jimmy that out. So, I'll find something in a moment. I'll be back in a second. And a towel. Come on, you must be wet this piss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try that first rod. Yeah, watch the shower screen, mate. So just Sometimes you just need something, just so you can lever it, you know, just jimmy it or lever it a little bit. Sometimes even something like this, it's got to have a point, but you don't want to damage the points either. So. Thank you, sir. 
Sick. Oh, sorry. Buddy. <laughs> Bro. Bro, yeah, that's better. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> I'm a bit wet. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Do you want one too, Mr. Singh? No, it's all the sweat off his head. <laughs> it's the hardest I've seen him work in a long time. Now, Mr. Safety Man. Yes, and exactly. You're not being safe in there. Exactly, we probably need something to um, soak up all this. Because I know Mr. Singh will go... Not just that, that, really. No, actually don't use a new towel. Mum will go over <laughs> we... It's safety first for her kids. No, 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 no. Mum will go ape. Get an old towel. Oh. Mum will go ape droppings. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll go get some old newspapers, we'll put old newspapers on the floor there. Yes, newspapers could work. Okay, it's probably better to absorb it. You're, you're in the environment, man. What other options you got? But you then you can throw it down the incinerator. <laughs> <laughs> hey, finally, my brothers are starting to understand how I understand. Come on, just shut up. Let's get some right, right. Come on. Hey, hey, look what I've got here. I've got the Italian newspaper, the Il Globo. And, hey, uh... Check the death notices. See who's died. That's yeah. what the logs do, don't they? That's yeah, encouraging. Oh, yeah, uh, hey, come on, can we get back to it? I know you love reading the paper and sitting on a toilet and do all that sort of stuff. Oh, is that what you do when you go to the toilet? Uh, you read the dead uh, notices from the globe, right? Alright, can I now show a bit of safety? Oh, before, cool. Before you two break uh, in he's, he's drying all that up. Yeah, but still, on. there's a bit of wetness here, so this is how we do it. Okay, let me just dry up this wetness. Yeah, but out here, we'll do the same. So, this is how we encourage it. Stop, Mum. Stop mum going egg droppings. You know you can't put that on the floor. Why not? Because there's a nice risotto menu on there. Please. Mum's, a bit, mum's supposed to be the best cook anyway, so what's the difference? And I was going to give it to mum, this is. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble, Rob. First step is first, and that is putting the elbow up there. But before you put this on, make sure you put Teflon, eh? Yeah, but make sure you take off the old Teflon because there's still a bit of on there. We can't reuse that, unfortunately. Why not? Because it's already been worn out. So you need to actually take off that old one, thread, you know, like, even like a little screwdriver or um, something that just peels it off because otherwise it, does, it doesn't actually uh, screw up. Okay, so what's next? Okay, well you start preparing the hand shower. Well, the first thing is the grab rail, right? The grab rail, the hand shower. This is very important, very good. Installation manual for showers. Now, if I was a qualified plumber, I'd just throw this away like that, right? Because qualified plumbers know what they're doing. I've actually installed quite a few, so um, I don't need to read it, but I'm going to explain. So what we need to do first is, we've got to grab the guide rail, it sits like that. And then we got the ends. One goes at the top and one goes at the bottom. Now, this is the critical thing. Now, the whole idea of having the grab rail is so the person can adjust at the height of the shower. Okay, so we're going to drill through the tiles. Um, now, when you're drilling through tiles, it is important that you do use a masonry bit. Now, a masonry bit is designed to go through stone, concrete, and those type of materials. And you need to use uh, uh, a drill that's capable of drilling through that. So, I've got this drill here, and I'm going to make it, start making the holes. Holes have been dug, so two, two stainless steel screws, make sure, I, I mentioned before, stainless steel in the shower, not zinc. So the um, anchors are going in, just in case. Right, that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do the next one. Now this is really, really important. We we're going to plan, or we're going to organise where we're going to put the um, the grab rail. Now the grab rail, because it's taken up a lot of weight, a lot of human weight, it's really, really, really important. I can't stress how important it is that we do find a good anchor point, and a good anchor point is going into studs. This is a timber wall behind here, so we're going to we'll, we'll be able to find the stud, and that's where you need one of these things. This is called a stud finder. And with this stud finder, I'm going to go there and I'm going to start locating where all the studs are. So, uh, and it should start over here. <laughs> First thing to do, Teflon tape. 
And as Mr. Sink always says, go clockwise. Why does he say that? Because he's smart, isn't he? Apart from that, there is a reason. There is a reason, and the reason is, when you're tightening it up, it doesn't unwind. There you go. Swap it. Should we put plenty on? Plenty. Okay, so we screw the elbow on. Now the elbow is important, this is where we um, screw the, the actual hose onto. I should really leave this to Rob, he's better at doing it, but I'm going to try to give it an attempt. Because apparently I don't know how to do anything. You should do. What's that? You know how to talk crap. That's for sure. Come on, stop winking my bloody knees. Well then again, this is six to one that likes the crap. That's what holds it in place on the bracket. See? Mm, makes sense. And I just you can just adjust it like that, is that right? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Now later on we'll do a demonstration of how it works. Alright, cool. Okay, now I found the studs. There's one stud going along here and there's another one going along here. Now, did you ask Dad if he wanted? Well, I suggested Dad that we put one horizontal, yeah. sorry, vertical, mm -hmm. and then we put like either here or here, and then put another one horizontal, but he didn't like it. He didn't like it. He wants one on an angle. He reckons on the angle works best. Um, look, this. Well, it doesn't make sense because if Mum did want to sit down in a shower, she can always pull herself up a little bit better that yeah. way. The, the the best way is to put two: one vertical, one horizontal. But in this particular case, because uh, Dad has argued that he actually wish wants one. I wonder where that comes from. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got it from him. What are you talking about? See, you always want to be right. Oh, takes one and another one. So come on. I know where you got your good looks from too. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he wants it on an angle, so what do you reckon's a good height? Like something like that? A bit higher? Because mum's not that tall, so I'm thinking around there. Yeah, about there's alright. Have you ever dropped the soap in the shower, Mr. Smith? It always leads to this. It always leads to this. Done. We now have a grip right. Is it Mr. Sink proof? Well, if it can take my weight, it can take anyone's weight. I suppose he's got a point. So now, shower shelf. This is where we're going to where Mum wants to put all the. Soaps, shampoos, that sort of stuff. Like that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. That's good. It's out of the way. So you're going to be able to reach it. Yeah, but it, it, well, the important that's thing is that, that area where the grab roll is is clear. So that'll be above her head. She can reach that. Okay. Yeah, I reckon that's good. It's out of the way. Two sides of an Allen key that you can use. Now these are a little bit tricky. So you put the glass shelf in place. Ah, now, now that we've done, let's uh, let's give it a clean, test it first, make sure it's working. Now we're going to see how the spray works, eh? And we'll give the shower a bit of a rinse now. Most important thing, there's no leaks. That's the full spray for a normal shower. That's like a light massage. And that's the pin massage. So the job's done. Everything's done. I, I think mum's going to be happy. I've showed you how the, um, the shower works. Yeah, actually quite an important point is to everyone out there is it's really important to make sure that you do have a shower that's elderly friendly. Yeah, especially like our loved ones as they're getting older. Yeah, they're not as strong as they are, they're not as agile as they were. Um, they become a little bit clumsy too. So doing all these things where you've got grab rails and shelves and hand shelves really does help these guys. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, avoids anything else going wrong. Now, we've done this job 
for under three hundred dollars worth of parka. So it's not really expensive. That's right. Um, you can go through all the expense of doing a whole new bathroom, but in this case we didn't have to because everything was still okay. And there's also something to note as well. This um, there is some government funding as well in certain areas as well. Not all areas are the same, but that's something you can look into as well. So, so you can just ask your local council, maybe they might be able to mm, absolutely with some help. That's correct, yeah. And, and they, they generally add to things like your rails, your shower screens, that type of thing in there. But like I said, this was under 300 bucks. I mean, look, it sounds good to my ears, as you know, so. And yeah, I think when we show mum, she's going to be wrapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So we'll, let's call mum in, eh? That's it. Okay. Mum! Okay, well, the job is done. So now it's time to show mum. So, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Do I have to close my eyes? <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Open the door. Okay, open the door. What do you think? Very good. I like that. What do you like? My shower <gasps> and my shampoos. Yeah, we put the shampoos up for you. And Beautiful. And that? And the grab up for dad. And for you. You forgot something. Oh, no, we haven't forgotten. My slippery floor. No. We, we got this for you, for okay. safety reasons. For safety reasons. It's got the um, little suckers thing. Okay. So that'll go on the floor. I'll put it on the floor for you now. Just one thing with this. Yeah. Make sure every time you use it, just fold it up, give it a rinse down, and keep it on top of here. Okay. That's to stop bacteria growing on it. Hmm. Okay. So um, if, just make sure, just give it a you know, bit of a rinse down with the, your hose. I can't believe it. Mm. I've got my shower done. Well, it's about yeah. time. It's about time. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, there shouldn't be any reason why. Did you clean that my you glass? Should, uh, the hints I'm cleaning my glass? Not yet. <laughs> hey, thank you so too much. <laughs> there, sh there shouldn't be any reason why you should fall down ever again. That's right. Oh, and we've also put one there near the toilet as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're beautiful. Thank so, you, um, boys. You My go. sons, thank you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Uh, Thanks, Mum. Proud. I don't, I don't like them to have you kiss and stuff. <laughs> All right. Cool. Another happy customer. Customer? Mum. Mum. Another happy mum. It's important. Right. She keeps feeding us, so we need to... Uh, Make sure we keep going. Well, she knows she definitely feeds you. <laughs> and there's one more thing. Hang on. This is just a little thank you for lunch. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> what a proud mother. <laughs> oh, thank oh, you. That's a perfect that's spot for it. There we are. Thank you. Matches the day call. Well, today's been a great day. We've done a lot. Made mum happy and dad. Because if mum's happy, dad's happy. If dad's happy, mum's happy. Absolutely. Everyone's happy. I mean, we're happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, we'll see you next, next time. time. Bye. <laughs> For more information about anything you've seen in this episode, or to contact us with your tips and ideas, visit mrsinktv.com.au or follow us on Facebook at The Mr. Sink Show. Well, we really hope you enjoyed today's show and we'll see you next time. Okay, now we're ready to get the... Um... Oh, the grand prize. You are a Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, get um <laughs> They think it's funny they're on board so they they got but really hard. But they laugh, they think it's funny. Oh, yes. <laughs> but no, sometimes if I'm holding my kids, they go like this. They go really, really hard, they think it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs>